Hi, thank you for being with us. Can you tell me a little about um, the role of iVillage with domestic violence? Absolutely. You know, iVillage is one of the top sites for women. 30 million women come here every month for content, uh, conversation, and community. And I think community is one of the biggest places. We have these message boards where women can engage and interact and connect with other women. And sadly, the issue of domestic violence is a very big issue on the boards, meaning it gets a lot of posts. And a lot of women are reaching out to other women, saying things like, I want to leave, or I'm concerned about a friend, or is this abusive if he does this? And so they are going there in a, in a safe environment where they can connect with other women and try to get some support and help. And of course, through our sort of content and editorial area, we are focusing on this issue as much as we can. When there are big stories in pop culture, the Rihanna case, for example, we're doing a lot of stories on it when there's a new study out. So we're trying because we know at iVillage and as women and moms, we know, sadly, this is a huge issue. And part of the focus should be just on talking about it and raising awareness so people know what's happening and what they can do to try and stop it. Mm -hmm. You bring up um, a good um, point, which is up till now, many times, kind of domestic violence is seen as a very private issue, um, and it's very encouraging to hear that on your community um, chat board that women are making it more public. Um, how are other ways, do you think, or how can the media help in, in driving this force to be more public? It's a great point, because it is interesting because we have Twitter and, and Facebook and a ton of social networking where women are engaging with other women, and it's great. But I think that there's some concern about uh, posting something in those places, something so mm -hmm. deeply private, such as a, a domestic violence situation. And because the iVillage community is really connected of other women who have registered to become part of that community and men too, it's a safer place. So that that is uh, one way. But I think I think the media can do so much more. And that I do think what happens, and again, I, I'm part of the media, what happens is we focus on the story when there's this big crisis for example, Rihanna, and then it goes away. And we don't kind of keep kind of a natural dialogue going on and a natural attention on these issues. And I sort of compare it to bullying in the sense that I think bullying has really gotten to the point where there is so much awareness about it that families are talking about it, educators, schools are implementing different types of programs, and that is great. And it would be really great if we could all do something in a very similar way with domestic violence because it is an issue that affects so many people everyone has some connection to it and you know especially as we're seeing it affecting even teenagers and tweens that we we want to try to encourage them even at the youngest ages it's not okay to be treated that way it's nothing you did and that there are things you can do so that the cycle for those women who are abused doesn't continue, and also giving help to the ones who are abusing. There's something going on in them. Either they've seen abuse in their household, they are filled with rage, that we can try, try to get them some help um, so that they don't continue a life of abuse, abusing and both emotionally and sexually and, and potentially physically too. Right, right, good point. Many times we see, and, and as a mom too, you often hear a very scary stories concerning social networking and all the negative effects and the wrongdoings. Um, can you shed some light on the positive, um, being a net digital um, news outlet that you are? Like, what what positive can social networking do? I mean, a first example is just you know giving that sense of a woman who can post something and very quickly get responses from sympathetic, supportive women and, and women who have gone through what they've gone through. To me, there's no better thing than if you hear someone who's been there who can say, you know, it, this isn't okay. It, you didn't do anything wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't be sexier and that'll solve the problem or you can't think it's going to change. I think that is a very powerful way for people to um, to help each other. But I also think something else which is that that the sense of innocent bystanders, you know, or bystanders playing more of a role through social networking too, which is if you as a teen or tween you see someone texting or posting on Facebook what appear to be very abusive 
comments, uh, physical, I mean, uh, emotionally, uh, that could seem to be not okay, that you can do something, whether telling a parent or telling an educator so they're aware. Um, if we see it in, in, a, in another way, you know, that those are some signs that we can right. sort of see for our girlfriends or other people in the community. So, so social networking can help one-on-one, -on -one, but it can also help um, and give bystanders more of a responsibility to, um, to say this isn't okay and, and that they can take some steps to, to, and even oppose sometimes as a teenager who can say this isn't the nice right way to treat another person. You'd be surprised how peer pressure, what a role that plays, mm -hmm. and other kids can sort of say it's not okay and that the person who's doing it can kind of feel called on to not act that way anymore. Excellent point. Thank you. Um, and what, <coughs> excuse me, what is the association of iVillage um, with Liz Claiborne and Love Is Not Abuse? Yeah, project? we we have we haven't done too much together, but that's only because I've just been there personally <laughs> for five months. I know certainly iVillage has done uh, reports, content reports, when uh, Liz Claiborne has come out with uh, studies regarding the love is not abuse and particularly the teen dating abuse surveys and raising awareness about that and that has really been my connection with Liz Claiborne is that um, when those surveys had come out and I was at CBS News at the time they were so alarming to me I was very surprised yeah. um, and as someone who everyone has a connection I have someone close to me who I feel like was in an abusive relationship and who um, thankfully got out and I always sort of think if that didn't happen, kind of what how that chapter would be written, it would have been written in a, in a horribly different way. And this is during teenage years. So I just feel that we need to do more. And uh, I did stories at, at CBS and, and hope to keep doing stuff at iVillage where we are, again, people are, I think people often have this image of domestic violence. It only happens to this person and this race and this ethnic, uh, economic group at this age and stage. And that's not the case and um, it's happening more and more across the board for all ages, all ethnic groups, all walks of life. 